Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to do binning uh, using pandas and data frames. Uh, data binning is a nice technique. You can read about it online. This is the Wikipedia definition. Uh, sometimes it's called bucketing. It's a pre-processing step. It's used to reduce the, you know, uh, the, the effects of minor observation errors. Um, so it's a way to group a number of more or less continuous values into a smaller number of of bins or buckets okay you can read more about it uh, but I'm hoping that you're familiar with it it's quite a nice technique you know uh, to summarize data and so on and so forth as we will see here um, uh, we can talk 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 but the best thing is to have a look at an example to get the idea we create our own usual data frame let's remind ourselves of what the data frame looks like I don't know why I keep doing that I should have uncommented this part here but anyway, we have cities, ranks, score 1, score 2. I hope I'm not boring you with the same example again and again, but this is a convenient example that we can use for demonstration purposes. And now because we're doing binning, what we'd like to do, we'd like to define our bins or our buckets. And what we're doing here is we have a list of values. I'm calling it bins equal list of values, 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And the idea here is that... Um, um, it goes the first bin or the first interval or the first bucket goes from 0 to 25 so this reads as 0 to 25 not minus 25 to 25 25 to 50 50 to 75 75 to 100 now notice we say 0 to 25 and 25 to 50 is 25 included in the, in the two intervals the answer is no and I'll let you find out whether it's included in the first interval or in the second interval. There can't be an overlap, by the way. We don't want overlap between the bins. So 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100. And what we'd like to do here is we would like to give them names. So we give it like, you know, group names or bin names. 0 to 25 is low. Notice we have five values, but only four uh, intervals or four uh, bins. 0 to 25 is low, 25 to 50, uh, excuse me, is average, um, 50 to 75 is good, and then 75 to 100 is brilliant. And what we'd like to do here is we'd like to check the scores now and then bin them or create groups for the score ranges. If the score is between 0 to 25, then it's low, 25 to 50, then it's average, 50 to 75 is good, 75 to 100, then it's brilliant. And what, the way we can do that using pandas is by using the cut function. If we do shift tab on cut, and uh, basically maximize, what we see here, it says return indices of half open bins to which each value of x belongs. x is our uh, variable that we'd like to apply the binning to. And uh, what it does, it checks, you know, return, return the indices uh, of, notice, half open bins. This is to do with, uh, you know, 0 to 25, 25 to 50, where 25 belongs to. Is it first bin or the second bin? Okay, to which each value of x be, uh, belongs. And, you know, x is an array-like or a series, one, you know, basically one, it has to be one-dimensional vector series. The bins, you know, it can be integer or sequence of scalars. Um, we've defined them as a list of scalars here so this is an interval this is an interval and so on and so forth um, and then you can read more about having labels that's what we're going to do and so on and so forth right and here you can find a nice little example on that um, and notice here the the braces and the square brackets this one means it's open. That means that number doesn't belong to this interval, and the close, the bracket, the score, the square bracket mean means that you know that end belongs to the interval. Okay, so uh, we give them group names. We give, them, I'm sorry, we assign group names, and then we call the cut function. So pd dot cut, and then we pass it the column we are, we wanted to apply the binning to, and we pass it the bin values. You know the, these bins, like we read here, and then we'd like to assign. Um, to assign labels. The labels here are the group names that we have put together, this list of group names, okay? Four group names for four intervals. If we apply that, I'm, notice by the way, I'm adding a new 
a new column to my data frame called uh, grade and this is how easy it is to add a new a new column to our data frame we just declare it and uh, pass data to it so if I run that then it will create a new column to this data frame if I display the data frame now it will have a new column called grade and with the bins so the because I'm using score 2 score 2 70, 67 here is between 50 and 75 so that's good and then the next one good 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 brilliant 77 between 75 and 100 and so on and so forth let's try by the way this closed open interval let's just put this to 75 and see uh, so it's 75 now and see whether it's uh, good or brilliant what do you expect well let's run it and see what happens have a look at the data frame is it good or brilliant see it's good which means the 75 belongs to the uh, okay so the idea is this 0 to 25 25 belongs to the, this interval 25 to 50 25 does not belong to this interval so the beginning uh, is not inclusive and the end is uh, uh, so the beginning is open and the end is closed closed means it's involved in this uh, uh, interval I hope that or in this bin I hope that the idea makes sense like we read here we saw the uh, parentheses and the square brackets square brackets mean closed so that number belongs to this interval or this bin okay so 75 here it's on the edge but it belongs to uh, the good to the third uh, interval not the fourth okay uh, I hope I'm not confusing you it's quite nice and simple um, yeah let's stop here and continue in the next video